First this evening, the Ukrainian women travelling home to a war zone to spend Christmas with loved ones who can't leave the country. This programme's been told that several of Derbyshire's refugees have gone to see husbands or parents in their homeland. Others have already returned from visits to relatives who were injured in the fighting. Here's our social affairs correspondent, Jeremy Ball. So maybe you will be invited. <laughs> Planning Christmas dinner at Dale Abbey in Derbyshire where Sophia is being hosted by Alison and Nick. <laughs> it's six months now since Sophia moved here from Ukraine with her mum, but they've just been back to visit her brother, a Ukrainian soldier who was seriously injured when he stepped on a landmine. I was really happy that he survived. I tried to hug him gently. <laughs> yeah, but uh, it was very emotional. We were crying and we decided that we want to see him because we don't know what can happen next. And it's a really miracle that he stepped on the miner and he still survived. And with his legs, it's, it's really a miracle. <laughs> The Christmas miracle Maria's hoping for is peace. Maria's got an office job here in Nottingham and living with hosts in Derby. She's just been to visit her family in Ukraine too. Maria arrived in Kiev as the latest Russian missile attacks began. I'm very, very worried about my family now. I see the bomb in the window and one second I start to think about maybe I'm dead now. So it's a shock and um, you doesn't understand what's happening now because you see one bomb, two, maybe three bombs, she's in the, your home. People will say, why did you go back to such a dangerous place? Because I wanted to see my family. Because it is home. You every time wanted to come back to home. You can see how upset Maria is. She has at least made it back here safely, but the Ukrainian Association in Derby tells me it's supporting at least three other women who are visiting Ukraine for Christmas. Now, it is really difficult to make contact, but I have managed to get a text from one of them who says they're struggling with internet, struggling with power, all because of that Russian bombing. Sophia experienced those hardships too, but now she's looking forward to Christmas with her hosts back in Dale Abbey, and she's come back with an unlikely gift, a brand new smile. We think that, OK, if we will be in Ukraine, we can go in a dental clinic, <laughs> because it's cheaper. Like, me and my mom, we fixed all our teeth, so we're happy, we can smile. <laughs> I was happy that I can meet my friends, my family, but in Ukraine there's no Christmas tree, no light and everything, like, it's a really difficult situation.